Hey guys, it's Doc, and uh, I've been talking about making this video for weeks and weeks now. And it's finally here, my video on humic acids. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, that's right. Finally, Doc's making the video on humic acid products. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, finally, he stopped talking about it. He's going to make it. This is going to be our first video. It's a short video, but um, I'm just going to give you a general overview and tell you about what we're doing with humic acids and where you can find resources and the product. Before I do that, I have a, a very important announcement to make. We've been searching for over six months for a specialized fertilizer in granular form. Now, if you know anything about what I recommend, I recommend granular as well as a spray. That's part of our program that we do. All along, I've been looking for an organic fertilizer that won't burn my lawn, that's in about, that's in the correct ratio that Bermuda grass likes, as well as other grass likes, fescue and everything else. That ratio is about a 612, 712. That really is the proper ratio for, for a healthy lawn. And it is impossible to find such a fertilizer out there. You, you cannot find it. So anyways, long story short, I contacted a commercial company, very large commercial company, and said, you have a product available to commercial turf managers that I want to make available to the consumer. Will you do that for me? Will you put that up on Amazon for me? And finally, after some discussions, they've agreed to do it, and I'm going to do videos on it, and I'm going to use the heck out of this product, and I'm going to put links up for you and show you all the results I'm having with it. It should be great. Now, that announcement is coming. You'll want to click that little subscribe button, that little red thing right there. Click the subscribe button so that you know when these videos come out on this new fertilizer. I'm telling you, it's gonna be fantastic. It's 100% organic, um, doesn't contain any waste products. All of the nitrogen, I think, is uh, plant-based nitrogen, so it doesn't burn. It's a 712 ratio. That is the perfect ratio for lawns, 712. And it's a low strength, which means that you can put out a ton of particles. That's one of the benefits of something like melorganite. Melorganite um, which I've used and I like the product you can put out a ton of particles So your particles per square inch is very very high so you get a nice even spread versus a normal fertilizer like a 29 2900 or 2902 we just barely put out a few particles. It just doesn't do a good job So that's one of the huge benefits of this thing uh, You can just get massive coverage with this product nice even spread wonderful feed I, as you can tell i'm excited about it and i can't wait to put it up i gotta hold back and not say anything yet so make sure you click subscribe so that you understand when this this product is coming so i will tell you that i let's get back to the humic product um i have not been wanting to do this video because all the science that's out there all the discussion humic products have been out there for years and years and years and uh i just haven't been looking forward to this video to be honest because I really don't want to get into a long, boring discussion about how humic acids work and how fulvic acids work. All I'm basically going to say is, is there's a bunch of junk out there. Um, you got to be careful. And where I put my money is I put my money with a company that has put hundreds of thousands of dollars into research and into processes and a company that has everything to risk by putting their name on it. It's a big company. Anderson is the company. They have done and a tremendous job with this product. It's very high percentage in humic and fulvic acids. Um, and they put their name on it after a bunch of research. They had universities actually uh, work with them on this. The patenting process, the way that this is applied is phenomenal. And what I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna show you a little bit of video of me putting it on. I'm gonna show you a little bit about the particles and how the particles work and how they break down and why this is such a good product versus a lot of the sprays, which are really nasty out there, um, versus a lot of the granular and powder stuff, which is just a nightmare to put on and handle, this stuff is a blessing. It really is. So let's just talk real, let me just summarize. Basically, humic and fulvic. Things die, plants and animals die. They rot thousands and millions of years go by. They settle down into this pit, kind of like shale stuff. Well, what they've learned is that that's a concentration of like super, super food for lawns. It's really not food, but you can take it out and the humic part of it treats the soil and it has microbial action increase in it. The way that it um, holds all the, the chemical, all the uh, nutrients, the metals, it sort of grabs onto that. Here's the way to look at it. The humic acid treats your soil and it turns your soil into a pantry. So it stores and has, gives your plants easy access to all that food. 
the fulvic at the part of this actually goes as like a one a day vitamin and improves the digestive system of the plant. Does that make sense? So the fulvic really goes to the plant, the humic goes into the soil. It's kind of like the, on the humic side, if someone said, I'm gonna come by and put two inches of beautiful topsoil and organic matter on top of your yard for 50 bucks, you say, yeah, dude, bring the truck, let's go. It's kind of what you're doing with the, with the humic acid product. You have grass and dirt, grass and dirt, grass and dirt, grass and dirt for years and years and years. There's nothing going on your lawn to make it that deep, rich, dark topsoil that you really want. So this is the product that you put on. It has a lot of carbon. It builds the structure to hold everything, that microbial action that's gonna open up the soil, allow oxygen and water, and hold on to all the nutrients and deliver that to the plant. The fulvic part of this really is gonna go into the root system and really improves the digestive system of the plant in the way that the plant takes up the nutrients. So, without using a whiteboard and going into all kinds of explanations on this, uh, I just said, the heck with that. I'm just gonna give you the simple way to do this. We're gonna put up on the website, howtoadoc.com, we are going to put up um, a research and learning center. So if you're a nerd and you wanna learn a whole bunch of stuff more about this, you can go on it. We're gonna be building that, it's just started. We're gonna be building that over the next couple of months. So you can really do some research if you want. If not, just understand that everyone in the industry in years and years and years in the agricultural business has now been using this product to improve their soil and improve, improve their plants. The only thing I will address is some people say that uh, you need to spray it on for the fulvic acid and the leaves. I kind of disagree with that. You're, if you were talking about standing crops like tomatoes and corn and, and all kinds of other standing crops that are gonna stand and grow, yes, I would say you might, that would be a good way to apply it. But you're talking about a lawn. You're gonna spray it on, it's just, it's nice and dense, it's just gonna reach the tips. And what are you gonna do in three or four days? You're gonna cut your grass. It's not gonna, I honestly don't think it's gonna do a huge amount. But there is a secret to this product that I am discovering. I discovered this. Um, buy an extra bag of this. I put this out at the medium feed rate, and the medium feed rate that they're saying is, uh, this bag, 11, 11 pounds, is, uh, treats 5,500 square feet. So the nice thing is, it's not a huge bag. You can store a lot of this stuff. It's not that expensive. Um, you can buy an extra bag of it, put it into a five gallon bucket, add about a gallon and a half, two gallons of water and let it sit for about 24, 48 hours. Stir it a few times a day, stir it a few times a day, agitate, 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 and then screen it through a fine mesh screen. And what you can do is if you want to double, you put the granular down and then spray it on top if you want to do that. Personally, I'm not even spraying. I'm just putting down the granular. So what I'm going to show you today, I'm just going to show you a little bit of video of me putting it down. Uh, this was an older video of me putting it down. I'm going to show you some video of the wonderful, wonderful process that they have developed and patented on the particles distribution. Basically what happens as soon as these little tiny particles get wet, they break down within minutes and they just expand into hundreds if not thousands of tiny sub particles and deliver it right into the soil. It really is amazing. It's amazing stuff, especially at looking at some of these, um, some of these other products and how they, how they work. So let's go out and let's just look at some of this stuff. Again, we've got this up. We've got a post on the Amazon link. And if when you order or have to reorder, make sure you come back to this page. Come back to that page uh, on the website because what we're going to do is if we find better links to these products, we update those links. So don't just go reorder. Come back to the website. Go to the products and check and see if there's any updates on there. That's pretty important because I try and keep that stuff updated. In case you haven't seen it, that's what it looks like. And there it is in my hand. It's tiny little, tiny little pellets. And that's what's going on All here. All right, so we're here in the laboratory. That's what it's called when the wife's not here. <laughs> But this is, uh, I'm in the kitchen, and to better understand how this stuff actually works, um, what I did was, I want to understand this, this process that they use and how it disperses. So I wet some, and then I drain the water and I put it in one bowl. The next thing I did was I put some in here and I put water in and I have not agitated it as much as possible. I've just tried to leave it just to sort of watch. So look at this. Now this is interesting here. Let me put my fingers in or my camera won't focus. 
But this is kind of interesting because this is only five minutes later and you can see how it's actually breaking down. So let me put some water in here. But you can see that's, I got LED lights in the background here. There you go, there's a good picture of it right there. That's great. So there are the particles that I wet and then drain and then I put water back in. Now these particles haven't been touched. They've just been sitting in water and this has been about 30 minutes. So I just want to sort of just take this and I just want to kind of just drain it a little bit and I want you to see that. So that's what it looks like. So 30 minutes after they've been wet, that's what you end up starting to get. And that's how it breaks down. And that's after 30 minutes of being wet. That's basically what happens right there. Now that's pretty cool there. Hey guys, so uh, we're doing our first coat of the Humic DG and it's a super fine particle so I'm putting my spreader on number one and I'm gonna see about the application rate. Now I've got a stay green, of course, it's not listed on the bag because it's an older spreader. So I'm just gonna let you know. Basically you wanna put this, the particles are so fine, you're gonna wanna start on the very lowest setting. There is no risk of over applying this stuff. That's the wonderful thing about it. There's no new, there's no, NPK in this and that's one of the problems with some other brands Okay, so it comes with a little tear spot And there is a ziplock sealer here well, That actually works so you can tear it it opens up. I do want to show you the particles Hopefully you can see the particles there They're very small they're tiny particles. I'm telling people that we're going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to put this on and we're going to put it on now while we're in the growing season. We're going to speed up this process and we're going to put it down again in about two or three weeks. We're going to put another coat of this on. We're going to try and get a couple coats, two or three coats of this on because it's late in the season. You can put this on anytime during the growing season. But we're getting a little, this is July, so I want to get this out. I want to get it into my lawn so I can get some really good test results on this. So, so there it is in my spreader. Again, there's nothing really toxic about this. It's just humic. But these, these this patented form, patented release formula truly is amazing. Soaking wet, you're gonna hear th thunder in the background. Oh, man, I'm getting too old for Georgia summers, but I wanted to show you something. Hey, do you remember the malorganite video I did? And what I showed in that malorganite video was that I had malorganite go into the swimming pool and I came back the next morning and it was still sitting there in pellet form. Okay, I just did the backyard five, 10 minutes ago. Um, I was blowing around the pool to get that, any of that, uh, any of the pellets off the cement and look what I saw. But basically these pellets are almost gone. They are disintegrating already. So that's what's cool about this technology. That these pellets in here, there's trails, there's like little mud trails behind these pellets. I know, I know what you're saying. You should have gone skinny dipping to get the pellet footage. <laughs> 
anyways guys uh hope this video was helpful i just wanted to put this product out and just really tell you guys how much i really love this product yes it's a good quality product the content is great but the, the way that it disperses and the technology that they're using for this is just fantastic small little bags 11 pound bags you can, most people can use one or two bags on their yard that's about it again i'm going to encourage people to do what i'm going to do which is right now is july get this stuff right now put it out now and put it out about every three weeks during this growing season all the way july august september keep putting it out putting it out because you really need to apply this during the growing season and uh, i think you'll see some significant improvements in your lawn again no risk of burnout you don't have to worry about it and don't forget keep checking back make sure you subscribe because as soon as that new fertilizer is out we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cram that stuff out here and it's gonna be great and i'll let you guys know Talk to you later, Doc.